Since 1947, the World Affairs Council has become the preeminent global stage for world leaders and the public to inform, engage, and debate the most important issues of our time. It's your world. Get to know it. China and the United States uh, formally established diplomatic ties at the ambassadorial level on January the 1st, 1979. More than 30 years have passed since then. Despite some of the uh, twists and turns in certain periods, the China-U.S. relationship has kept moving forward. Especially in recent years, with the concerted efforts from both sides the China-U.S. relationship has made significant headway and is now one of the most dynamic and influential bilateral relationships in the world. Last November, President Obama paid a successful visit to China. He and the Chinese leaders discussed in great depth China-U.S. relations in the new circumstances. The leaders also discussed important regional, international, and global issues of shared interest. Broad agreement was reached, which has been captured in the Sino-U.S. joint statement. In it, both sides have pledged to work together to build a positive, co cooperative, and a comprehensive China-U.S. relationship for the 21st century, and to take concrete actions to steady, steadily build a partnership to address common challenges. The United States and China have at times in the past been enemies. We have differences today. What brings us together is that we have common interests which transcend those differences. For now and a certain period to come, China and the United States do and will continue to share growing common interests and development opportunities in, in the following aspects. First, safeguarding world peace and stability. We are both permanent members of the UN Security Council. As the largest developing and developed country in the world, respectively, China and the United States shoulder unique responsibilities for maintaining world peace and stability. There is need for us to work more closely on counter-terrorism, non-proliferation, the Korean nuclear issue, the Iranian nuclear issue, Pakistan, Afghanistan, the Middle East, Darfur, and other hotspots. 